everybody, I'm Elise Explosion, and I am here today with the beginnings of an unboxing. See, this, um, this is a Hatchimals Pixies Crystal Flyers. Um, I've, I've opened up a couple Hatchimals Pixies on this channel, and honestly, I like them. I think they're cute, I think they're sweet, they are very reasonably priced for what they are. They're, you know, around $10 for a, a small surprise toy. That's, that works for me. I'm okay with that. Um, so I got this targeted to me on Amazon yesterday, or two days ago, rather, and I'd never seen them before. I hadn't seen these in stores. I hadn't heard of them. I'm still not entirely sure what it is, but uh, Hatchimals Pixies, these are my Spin Master. And the Crystal Flyers appear to be, you can like, they, they, they kind of remind me of the old Sky Dancers. They, they fly in the sky and probably will take your eye out if you aim it at your sister. Um, don't do that. That's not very nice. So, and it also looks like it, she must be, she has to be charged via USB. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to see what the heck it's like on the inside. Like what, what am I expecting? I did no research into this. This is a very impulsive purchase, uh, as most of mine are wont to be, but where's mine? Where's my sharp and pointy? Thank you, sharp and pointy. You're very helpful today. Um, there we go. That's better. Oh, and here's a little long booklet that describes what I'm supposed to do. And oh, God, there's so many instructions. There's a lot of instructions. All right, so here is the box. Uh, is there like a cord? Um, how am I supposed to charge this? Uh, let me, let me look at the... Oh, it's a Hatchimal. It might need you to do something to make it hatch. Oh, I take her out and then I put a USB and that, oh wow, okay, yeah. So I have to take her out and then charge her. Remove the pixie from the launch pad. Remove charging cable from the bottom of the launch pad. Turn the pixie off. Plug the small end of the charging cable into the charging point in the pixie's back. Plug the charging cable into a 5 volt DC computer USB outlet. Charging LED will be solid on when charging and off when charging is complete. So we're not prepared to charge for today, um, but we're gonna, we'll open her up. We'll see what she looks like and get her on to charge and film this uh, a little bit later. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So this is, uh, what is her name? Her name is... On the bottom of the All right, so this is Starlight Idol. Uh, and of course I got her because she has pink hair. Why wouldn't I get a doll with pink hair? Um, she's cute. She's cute. I, uh, I do like the design on these. Um, so it looks like I remove from here. Um, come on, pop goes the weasel. And by weasel, I mean elastic. All right, so the she can just come off like this. There is a tag imploring you to read the manual carefully before first use. I assume they're trying to correct uh, the perils of the Sky Dancers where like kids would just like take their sibling's eye out because they weren't paying attention as to where they launched them. And she apparently has like a USB chargey port somewhere. This is a very weird design for a doll. Like she's cute. Um, obviously no articulation, no bending. Um, but she's cute. Apparently I can like guide her with my hand somehow. Uh, but we'll get her, we'll get her onto charge. And is she basically a drone? Kind of feels that way. Like they have those little drone toys. It's kind of like that. Okay, so here is the charger, and she like plugs in. Sorry, well, I know she goes like this. Yeah, and then look at the bottom of the. That's the. There's nowhere to plug this in though. There's like no plug points. All right, all right, hang on, hang on. We got one more thing to check. We can actually read the instructions like I'm supposed to. Yeah, I'm supposed to 
plug the doll itself in. She's got like a, there's like an on off switch somewhere. Oh, here it is. It's like on her skirt where this goes in. So she's plugged in. Is she off? She's off. Uh, I will set her on to charge via USB. Does it say how long she takes to fully charge? It does not say how is long she takes. Is there a light that like- Yes, there is okay. a light that will indicate whether it is on or off. Uh, and we'll come back in a, a little bit. It'll be a little bit for you. It'll be a couple days for me. So stay tuned. Two weeks later. Yes, I am. Oh, she's good. <laughs> it has been so long since I started filming this video that I have forgotten what this is called. Um. Obviously, you'll know it because you've seen the beginning part of the video, but we filmed out like three weeks ago. Anyway, she's fully charged. She is supposed to be resting in this base. I know it's a Hatchimals Pixies. Um, we have done some extensive testing on this toy and uh, frankly, it's not much better or much safer than ye old uh, Sky Dancers. Uh, I don't think I would give this to a small child. Uh, because it can cause just as much physical injury. And there's good reason we don't actually have this thing tested out in the backyard. Uh, but I believe what I do is I pick her up and she's got a little like on switch on the base. And then, you have to set her and then I have to like set her in the base. And she's getting ready to go. And there she goes, but I've got her back. And there she goes again. Oh my God. Oh my God. There she goes. That's why we haven't done this yet. Um, they also say only for indoor use. Yeah, I'm supposed to use this thing inside and it almost took out like my entire freaking wall over here. They will go from your hand. Yeah, so I'm gonna try. Oh, there she's going over to Karen. And there she goes into the wall and now she's just kind of hovering in midair. What the fuck? Oh, 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 I wish you guys could see this. And behind and just, oh, hey, look, she's back. Um, this is, this is terrible. This is terrible. What? She almost killed me like four times. I'm cowering underneath her. She hit something, so now she's stopped. Yeah, if she, if she touches something with her wings, she will stop. She's a drone. Yeah. Ow. Don't give this to your kids. It's cute. It's weird. Maybe it'll work better outside. Maybe it'll go into the stratosphere and You're burn up. You're not supposed to use it outside because they'll just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really don't know how this is supposed to function. Um, get, don't, don't, just don't. I can't, I can't in good faith. Why? This was like 25 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. Don't. Uh, but yeah, that's it for for her. Um, I can't I can't recommend this. This is very silly. She's cute. She's fine. She's got like a cute little face, but you can't do anything with her except for take your little sister's eye out. And I'd rather not do that right now. So right now or ever. I mean, I might have when I was a little baby kid, but I got better. Um, and that's for my therapist. Anyway, friends, thank you so much for hanging out today. <laughs> I got no words. I got no words. Um, whatever. What? Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with us today, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. For more videos like this, you're not going to get them, so don't bother. Uh, <laughs> but everybody, you know, if you'd like more toy videos that are not going to cause personal injury, you're in luck, and I've got a whole bunch of those. And I will link some at the end of this video. 
Uh, if you'd like to uh, support the channel and maybe my medical bills after playing with this thing, I do have a Patreon that is patreon.com forward slash Elise Explosion. Um, thanks for, for being here, friends. Everybody take care, be well, and I will see you in the next video. Later.